Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be going over how to band-aid mod a not hot swappable keyboard. The keyboard we're going to be using today is the TN Void. It's from Tilted Nation. It's a full-size keyboard using red switches. And overall, the stabs are alright, but they could use some work, so I'm going to be band-aid modding them in this video. So let's get started. Alright, so obviously what you will need is a band-aid. I would recommend some tweezers also. So in this example, I'll be using the space bar. Here's a before sound test. So really quickly, let me talk about what banding modding does. So this right here is a stabilizer. And when you're pressing down on your spacebar, these stabilizers might move. So pretty much if the stabilizer moves, it can make a rattling sound and you don't want that. You want to use your scissors and cut it up into a small piece. A small piece like this should work. You might need another tweezer for this, but you want to lift up the stabilizer using this lever right here. And you want to push up with it. So the stabilizer comes out kind of like this. And don't push it up too high because the stabilizer might unclip from the actual wire. And then you'd have to take the keyboard apart, desolder the switch, and it would be a mess. One time it happened to me and I had to desolder the switch and then start it back and then like, it was a mess. So now you want to take your band-aid, lightly lift up the stabilizer and kind of slot it in. When you have the band-aid kind of sticking out like this, just push it down. And you want it to be like under the stabilizer, so when you like press down the stabilizer, it kind of looks like this. Making the stabilizer have less room to wiggle around. But you want to do the same thing on the other side, I'll do that really quick right now. And for you, if you put the keycap on the spacebar and like it's not going down, here's something that might fix your problem. And you see this little clip that you used to take out the stabilizer from its like original position? Push that back up so it's not touching the actual stabilizer part where you put the keycap on. So push that out kind of like this so it's not touching it anymore and there you go. And maybe do that to the other side if it's happening to you on the other side. And now when you move your stabilizer kind of like this and just wiggle it around, it should not move. Now you want to repeat that process to all your stabilizers like for your shift key, enter key, and backspace key. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this how-to video. If you guys liked it, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.